What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we tried out the Mew Glitch, and uh, yeah, it turned out to be a Muna. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know what kind of cool joke was it. I mean, they could have switched it out for a Meliota, but that's be uh, beside the point right here. So now, what we're going to do right here is we're going to go into the next route, because I kind of feel like we're not that... You know, we're not that powered up right now. Oinkinator is the only one at level 20, and everybody else is just, you know, barely hitting level 15. So, that's what we're going to do, is we're actually going to be going to Vermilion City, and we're going to be doing a lot of training. Lots and lots of training, and quite possibly evolving some poor Pokemon right here. Now, as you probably already remember, Team Rocket is behind this whole issue right here. They actually ransacked this whole place, and now we have to actually talk to this guy. He's like, hey, stay out, it's not your yard, huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Not really. I really don't believe you at all. So, here we go. Going up against a Team Rocket member, and, uh, well, he's gonna be coming out with his Timber, and <laughs> look at that. Timber's looking like the mud flap that he is. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna actually switch out our Pokemon right here. Taking a huge risk just because Timber's at level 17. And it does stuff like that. Low kick. And it is super powerful. So let's go right ahead and go with a gust attack. See what that does right there. And that takes a nice amount. But here comes a low kick yet again. And wow, we survived that one. So what we're going to do is go for a gust attack. And well, Timber's giving me an opening right here that I need. Yeah, he's not going to survive with the bite attack right here. So let's go... One more Gust Attack, P-Dub for the win, and well, let's see, it's gonna be, this guy's going to be coming out with the Solosis. That right there is a Psychic-type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to Flash right here. As you can see, Solosis, yeah, it kind of looks like a membrane and whatnot. So what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, paralyze it and then bind it, you know, that whole spiel right there. Kind of waiting for my Pokemon to actually get a little stronger right here. And, well, this guy's going with a Reflect. Let's go Bind Attack. And it's going to continue on right here until, you know, it gets faster. And, well, yeah, this is going to be... <laughs> it's going to be quite some time. Look at that. We're going to waste those five turns on the Reflect right here. And, well, let's see. I think that right there was five. Come on! Oh my god, this is going to take forever. <laughs> it really is going to take forever right here. Oh my god. And, well, while this is going on, happy 4th of July. As I am recording this, it is the 4th of July, and there has been a lot of fireworks, which is hilarious. Scaring some of the doggies and whatnot. I'm going to press that speed button right now. Let's go. There we go. Speed button for the win. And there we go. And flash. Gets to level 16, we have defeated Team Rocket, and, well, homeboy here is like, he'll give me back whatever TM is coming my way, and he's like, okay, I'll return the TM I got, and it is the TM28, and he is going to get moving, let's see. Huh, what happened? Okay, so that guy wasn't there in the beginning, that must be for a reason, let's see. That's Dig, obviously, we can teach it to a Pokemon right here, so let's see, what can Dig do? We can teach Mr. Hydro that, but I'm kind of saving that for a little bit later. Let's go right ahead and talk to this guy right here, because where the heck were you? Uh, people were robbed. Obviously, Team Rocket was behind us. Okay. Yeah, so he says the same thing. I don't know where you disappeared off to, so let us move on right here and, well, continue our adventure. Yes, we are going to skip... We're going to be battling a lot of Pokemon right here, guys. Lots and lots of Pokemon, and quite possibly finding some new Pokemon while we're at it. So that's why I'm going to cross this this area right here, because you eventually find some new Pokemon right here. Hopefully something, which we don't find. And here is the Daycare, which we won't be crossing anytime soon. Let's go straight into the underground path and see what this person wants to trade. So this person right here is like, do you have a Shelmet? Want to trade it for a Carablast? And, well, we do not have that, but, let's see, a Shellman, I believe you can actually capture it real close by right here, hold on, let's see, Shellman, where are you, where are you, 
Shelmet, Shelmet, Shelmet. Okay, so there's Carablast. But where's where's Shelmet? Oh, there it is. Data area. You can only get it near Fuchsia City. Okay. So let's see. Another Pokemon I kind of want to know about is Joltik. Let's see. Joltik near the power plant, obviously. Carablast, you can probably... Yes. Yeah, it's the same thing right here in Fuchsia City. And... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Zerua. That's a Pokemon I kind of want to... That's a Pokemon I kind of want to just, like, uh, get my hands on if I can. So, let's see. There's Arkan, there's Zerua area. And... Oh, wow. That's a while away. It's not that far. Okay. So, we can't do anything about that, but we will be trading for that Pokemon later on. And, well, here we are in the underground path. And, obviously, you're going to be finding some, uh... Hidden items right here, so just make sure to try and walk everywhere you can. Press the B button, or the A button, I should say, and hopefully, just hopefully you'll find something right here. Maybe skipping it, I don't know. Look at that, and look at this, we have found an egg special, which is great. And, well, let's see, there's nothing right here. Yep, nothing, okay. So, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure. Now, this place right here is uh, famous for Meow, so I'm going to check for what Pokemon we can find. And look at that. Minchino is a Pokemon you can actually find right here. And that's a darn good sprite, so... Hmm, kind of tempted to get that right there. And, well, let's see what else we can find. Oh, you can find a Venipede right here. And still, I am trying to evolve Venipede or Toxicity. So what's going to happen is we're going to be battling another Pokemon trainer right here. And let's see, Pidov. Let's go ahead and switch you out right here. Now, Pidov does need to be healed, so let's go ahead and heal that guy. I completely forgot that we only have two potions, so that right there kind of screws me over a little bit. But luckily for us, we do have Flat, or not Flash, but let's see, we do have Super Psycho. They can actually transport us back to the Pokemon Center. So let's go ahead and see what this guy is all about. He is looking for... Yeah, he's looking for some uh, bugs right here. Can't find them. So here we go. Going up against Bug Catcher. He's going to come out with his usual Vanipede. All right, Pete of Let's get it. Gust attack. Vanipede a little faster than us. And yeah, trying to get us with that... Trying to get us with that Screech attack right there. So let's go again. You gotta love that. Okay, here we go. Gus attack for the win. Say goodbye to Vanipede right there. And hello, level 16 for Pedov. And, well, let's see. He's gonna be coming out with a Carablast. So, let's go with Oinkinator and start destroying everybody. Now, if you guys do not remember, Carablast and Shelmet, if you guys trade for those two Pokemon, if those two Pokemon are actually involved in the trade, for some odd reason, they rea their reaction is an evolution, so that you should keep an eye out for that one right there. And, well, he's coming out with a Shelmet, so let's go ahead and just continue on right here. And go with an Ember attack, but we miss, and here comes Acid. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, okay. Alright, here we go. Again, Ember attack. Does the trick, and oh my god, nearly beats this guy, but you know what? Look at that. It gets burnt. Not going to happen. It dies by its burn. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty, so there we go. We just defeated this guy. And, well, we're going to have to wait a little longer for Pete up to evolve right here. Now, here we have the two people that are being secretive with their conversation. So, let's go ahead and switch it out to Toxicity and see what they're all about. Who's there? Quit listening in to us. Never. I will always eavesdrop. I'll eavesdrop on you. Okay, here we go. Nice short shorts, junior trainer male. And, well, he's coming out with an Oshawa right here. I don't know how to react on that one. So, let's go with the bite attack. I have a feeling that Oshawa might hit us physically. Or something like that. And there's one. Oh, crud. And there's a tail whip. And there's a focus energy. So we're going to only hit him one time right here. And that right there. Yeah, that, that takes a nice amount of HP on Oshawa right there. So what's going to happen? We're going to bite. 
and nearly defeat Oshawa, but this guy's like these guys are giving us openings right here. So look at that toxicity grows into the level, and well, I I I, I can honestly say that we were being lucky with that one right there. And toxicity is finally evolving. Oh yes, it's about damn time. Look at that. Oh god, it's digivolving. I can see its eyes too. Holy crap! There it is, Whirlipede, an ugly looking Pokemon right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Whirlipede. Look at this guy. He is a big, big Pokemon right there. Now its defense goes all the way up to level or to you know 42 points, and well. We're that close to getting a Scolipede right there, so that's our first evolution in quite some time. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Super Psycho, see what it can do right here. And, well, excuse me, this is a private conversation. If it really was, then I wouldn't be eavesdropping into it. So here we go, another Pokemon battle, going up against Junior Trainer Female, and, well, she's coming out with her Patrat. And here comes a Super Psycho right here. Now, kind of want to use a water gun, and uh, yeah, they're going to try and blind us. Jeebus. Okay, and there is a bite attack ready to happen, and luckily we miss. So what's going to happen is we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here to Oinkinator, because we do not need any of that bite attack. And, well, let's see. We could use Smog. Nah, Seismic Toss can actually do it. Here we go, Seismic Toss. And, well, that hits him once. Here we go again. It will not survive the next one. Look at that, Seismic Toss for the win. Say goodbye to Patrat. And, well, let's see, who's going to be? Blitzel, so let's see. Hmm. want to use Toxicity, but you know what? Super Psycho might be doing the job right here. Mainly because, well, it is a good, uh, well, we're just trying to evolve this Pokemon right now. We really are. And, well, let's see. Hmm. Dun, 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 double, sh oh, wow, Thundershock. That's always nice. And, well, here we go, double slap. Okay, and that's two times. Not going to be enough, so, yes, we are going to go back to Oinkinator right here because it's only... The only Pokemon that's effective against this guy. And well, here comes a quick attack. And well, Mega Punch ready to go. But this guy's gonna go with a quick attack. Mega Punch does its thing. And there goes Blitzel. And well, look at that. Look at that. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great about that. Okay, alrighty. Another victory for us. Now we're gonna go up against another bug trainer right here. And well, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Mr. Hydro. I haven't used this guy in quite some time. Alrighty, what's up? I've never seen you around. Are you good? Probably. Okay, so here we go. Going up against a bug catcher. And Bug Catcher is coming out with a Swadaloon. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this Pokemon's gonna have like the same stuff as the Butterfree that we 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 normally be taking on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and uh, get this Pokemon to get paralyzed and all that crud. There we go, and it is paralyzed. Yes, sir. Okay, and here comes a Leech Life. Hmm. Not a lot, but guess what? We're gonna use some Water Gun right here. And, yeah, that right there is not going to work. Swadaloon is going to continue to do that. So let's go straight to Toxicity right here. And, well, let's see. Let's see what happens right here. There's a defensive raise. Let's go ahead and poison this guy. And it's fully paralyzed. So here we go. We're just going to continue on paralyze or poison this guy. There we go. Critical hit. Another paralysis. Here we go it again. And yes, we're gonna just continue on with this. We're just gonna just like you know hit him. And well, there's that. Do bump 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 bump. Here we go again. Another poison sting. Poison sting does its trick. 
And, well, the string shot's gonna slow us down, but it's not gonna slow us enough. And, well, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna just... Yeah, we're gonna continue on doing, uh, doing this whole thing right here. So let's go straight for a Poison Sting. This guy is, like, not giving up right here. So there we go. Swadloon defeated. Mr. Hydro, level 18. Okay, and Toxicity doing its thing right there, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're doing our job right here. Okay. Alrighty, so we got two more trainers. And, well, let's go ahead and just destroy them with the Oinkinator. Kind of want to. Alrighty, what's up? Me? Well, okay, I'll play. Let's play right here on ESPN. I'm just playing. Okay, so here we go, going up against Junior Trainer Female, and... Well, she's gonna have our P-dubs right here, so let's go right ahead and just continue it on right here with a Mega Punch, and it hits him. There we go. Look at- oh wow, nearly beats him! Yeah, this, uh, this P-dub right here is a lucky P-dub, so... Going with the, the quick or the quick attack. There we go. Ember does its thing and well coming out with a p-dove let's go with flash now let's see let's see there's a, okay so there are quite a few Pokemon right here that I do want to keep and there are some that I'm just gonna put back into the PC because who knows I might capture someone off screen or I might have caught someone off screen and might still use them on my team for some odd reason I don't know, that's how Unova works, but if I do end up finding a Pokemon I kind of want to use, then we'll, we'll, we'll cross that path eventually. Uh, there are there is, a, there is a nice selection of Pokemon in Unova that I kind of want to use. And, well, this is probably going to take forever right here, so let's go speed button. There we go. And we have defeated that Pokemon, and, well, coming out with another P-Dove. Let's go right ahead and go with Super Psycho. Super Psycho, let's do this. And, well, not not going to happen like that. So let's go straight for... Nope, wait, 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 hold on. Let's go for Oinkinator right here. And, well, let's see. Let's see. That's a defensive uh, foul right there. So let's go with a Mega Punch. And Mega Punch nearly gets them all. And that right there hits us with the gust, so let's go ahead and use Ember Attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Super Psycho, still growing levels. And, well, yeah, it didn't work at all. Alright. Let's continue right here. Huh? You want to talk to me? Of course I want to talk to you, fool. Let's go. Bring it on. Alright, so here we go, going up against a Junior Trainer male, and he's coming out with a Ducklet. Look at that Pokemon. It's all crazy eye looking and, and stuff. We gotta beat him. Now, I wonder where you can actually find a Ducklet. And, well, here comes a Bubble Attack. It's going to be super effective on me, but here comes a Smog Attack. Look at that. And we do it. That's the first time we've ever tried Smog right here with this Pokemon. And this guy's coming out with a Herdier, so... Yeah, let's continue right here. Herdier is going to be a little stronger, so let's go ahead and go with the Smog Attack. Didn't intend to do that. Here comes a Bite. Not super effective. And, well, let's go Seismic Toss. And there you go. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to be tackled again. So, here we go. Seismic Toss yet again. And, well... Look at that. The Seismic Toss does its trick. Hurtier defeated. And good old Draven is, uh, you know, victorious yet again because, you know, he can. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay. And that is pretty much it. Here we are in Vermilion City. Now, there is a lot of stuff that I can do right here. And that's what I intend to do, guys. Um, damn. Yeah. The mission right here, going into the next few, is to train my Pokemon ready for, uh, to get them ready for the f uh, second and third gyms. And not only that, find some new and interesting Pokemon. So that's probably what we're going to be doing in the next few episodes, guys. So bear with me. In the next episode, it's going to be a little bit of an exploration of Vermilion and maybe, just maybe, capturing a new Pokemon here and there. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.